Hey guys, it's Wanda from Crazy Days. Today, we're going to go into my queen dome, but I wanted to show you Danny's king dome, my queen dome. Two identical greenhouses or high tunnels that we got from Grower Solutions. We're going to go into mine now. Danny's has the black shade cloth. Mine has the white. We've been growing for a while. We've got videos showing on both Deep South and Crazy Days of both high tunnels. But we've been growing for a year and a half now, and what the difference is in both white and the black shade cloths. All right, this end is the entrance that I usually go in and out of. We have this giant fan that we got from Grower Solutions that is vented. When I turn it on, it pulls from the other end. There's a vent, if you can see all the way through. It pulls the air from that end. They both open up simultaneously, and we can vent it. Plus, we have small fans inside, and... This design here is Danny's design. The kit does not come with the wood. It only comes with metal, you see, and the plastic. Here we have our supports here on every one of these. It only comes with every other one. We ordered separately, had an extra sets coming in for this support. So this is Danny's design. He did do this, but the kit is from Grower Solutions. And the reason I'm showing you that today is they are having a sale. And we're gonna tour mine real quick, but Grower Solutions having a great sale. You know, any greenhouse or high tunnel kit, 2,500 and up, you get free shipping. Plus use Deep South code DS21 and get free irrigation or the rope the ground cover like we've got here that we put down here so guys it's a good deal now here in my high tunnel it's been shut up since last night i've got the sides rolled down it got pretty cool down in the low 40s and i i don't want to lose anything these peas don't do well if it gets below 40 but red rippers this is the last of them you see i've got one drying these i'll pick today then I've got, uh, so here, right here, some that are green. These can be picked. I've just been letting them turn red when I pick them. And so the red rippers have done really well. And this is a field pea, just saying, doing great, but it won't be long. They're not blooming anymore, so this is over and done with and we'll be taking it out. One reason I put the high tunnel sides down is my aloes and all right here. I didn't want them to get too cold and they seem to have weathered well at 40 something degrees. It was in the 40 something, 44, 46. These are Egyptian walking onions. The rest of it is empty except for the mums and the mums gorgeous. Now my peppercorns are doing great. They've got little peppercorn pods on them everywhere. Uh, they can't handle cold temps. One reason we have to put the sides down is the peppercorns. You see, it's going up here, doing great, and I don't want to lose my peppercorn, so I'd rather keep it a little warm as I can. I have the green stalks in here, and you see how my potatoes, beautiful color. These are the fingerling, French fingerling potatoes, or either the, they're little fingerling potatoes anyway. Doing great in here right now, so we're going to see, can we harvest some? Rutabagas finally coming up, doing really decent. Um, more Egyptian walking onions, flowers. This is my okra. I'm letting a lot of this go to seed now so that we have some more Star of David okra because there's no other okra in here and I can save seeds in here. Over here, Danny planted carrots. And they seem to be coming up, but we seem to have a creature underneath the ground because this is the ground level out here. We planted these beds simply on the ground. These, we have this row cover down and these beds are on top of it. So the two middle beds are not ground beds. This one is, and he thinks a mole cricket is coming up and getting into our carrots. It was totally covered in carrots two days ago and it seems to be that they're slowly disappearing. So that or something is getting into our carrots. And it really is hard to plant. I mean, I can see lots of green when I get from a distance. So there's still a lot of carrots in there and he may have overplanted. But it's still upsetting if you have animals that get into stuff. This is our turmeric and ginger growing in here. We will harvest this. I've checked it. It's looking great. 
another green stalk here and uh green stalks having a sale too a black friday sale coming up in a week or so just be watching if you like your green stalks we've got strawberries again with the potatoes look how green they're gorgeous now this row and i've got to come in here and water i, I didn't water on purpose so you could see things look at that green leaves everywhere this is my english peas guys this whole row here is english peas now this row my cotton it's been blooming so i'm gonna have some cotton there then we've got some trail of tears beans that are still coming up i've got three or four of them this is my eggplant and it's blooming isn't that awesome um and then i planted a blueberry tomato down there i came up for out in the bit flower bed or in our i guess our carrot bed outside and i put it there here my mom's in that i mean it's just gorgeous i love this that white just sets it off but my cucumber plant just kind of inked. I got three or four cucumbers off of it, and I see one that's ready now, and the cold just got it. It just, it wouldn't do anything this late in the year, so we're going to try greenhouse cucumbers. We've had good luck with cucumbers in the spring, but I need to know if can I grow them in the fall and winter. Now, that's the back side of my greenhouse. We have a fig tree in between, just still loaded with figs, but it's hard to get them ready this time of year when it's November. Then we go into Danny's, which is identical to mine except for the white shade cloth and the black shade cloth. And in here, Tropical City. We have trees and plants everywhere in here. This is the original first one we did. And look at this. Bananas. Danny's growing bananas. Isn't that awesome? I just think it's totally amazing. I thought I would share with you guys what bananas look like when this pod comes on. Each piece of this red pulls out and there's bananas. So right now we have one, two, three, four tags of bananas in here. Isn't that awesome? We have strawberries. We still have peppers. He's still growing lots of peppers in here. We have all his fruit trees all through here. Um, right now, kumquats. That's one thing that's turning. And then right there, look at the key limes. These little boogers are good. Never had a key lime before, but they're awesome. And look at this, raspberries. They're just now starting to turn a little pink. So we will have raspberries in a couple of weeks. Danny's growing potatoes. These are um, just regular Irish potatoes. Uh, some of them may be blue Irish potatoes, but they're blue and regular. I think he has some of both, but look how pretty they are. The color is great. They're healthy looking. No bugs, no nothing on these potatoes. Simply amazing in a greenhouse in November. So we're going to be digging these not too long from now. They've been in the ground almost long enough. Now he has this grapevine running in here, but we have sweet potatoes and these vines. It's almost time to dig those. We have a bay tree. We have a cherry tree here that's blooming. It's got blooms. We've got peach trees and apple trees. And I mean, you name it, he's got blueberries, everything in here. We planted collards. We've already harvested off these. It's gotten cold enough. I've got the sides up on his. His can take down a little cooler than I wanted mine to get because um it's not freezing yet so we're gonna be eating more collards you can see how pretty they are look at these leaves i mean isn't that beautiful so we've got plenty of collards here's another one of his pepper plants this whole group here is nothing but blackberries that's all blackberries all in there isn't that awesome and we, this we've harvested blackberries twice and they're as big as my thumb i'm serious these things are huge and see little cherry cherry blooms that's amazing so now his peach trees won't put on he's fixing to take all the leaves off they're starting to die so that we can have peaches next year he'll take all this off and the apples are doing great you can see them in here but like i said these are 
what we call key lines. Take a couple of them inside. They'll continue to turn, but look, it was just loaded. I'm always amazed at the smell of limes and lemons and oranges. Oh, it's amazing. I also have some lettuce, some of the red lettuce. We have garlic in the back. And down here we have asparagus. So guys, that's a quick tour of Danny's Kingdom and my Queendom. Danny's is with the black shade cloth, mine with the white. They are from Grower Solutions. We love working with Grower Solutions. We've not had any issues with our greenhouses. We've had them since um, March of 2020 is when we put Danny's in. And then we've had mine. Uh, we got it in the summer, but we didn't put the shade cloth and all on it till after hurricane season last year, like September, October or somewhere. And it weathered a hurricane in November. So we've had several hurricanes last year and a couple this year. Not strong, but 100 plus mile, you know, around 100. And they both held up well here at South Mississippi, I guess, you know. And um, so if you're interested in high tunnels, this is a 16 by 36, I think. I think that's what they are, both of them. And we have a third one. Yeah. We're going to be moving some of Danny's trees to the third one. And we're going to use these two as growing crops in the next year. And we hope you guys will stick with us. We'll see what we're doing with our greenhouses. We are just growing year round here in South Mississippi. So check out Grower Solutions. Their sale from um, November 8th through the 11th, I think, I believe, or something like that. Mention DS21. You get free ground cover or free irrigation. Thanks, guys.